after they made the race car, the GTLM, they thought, hey, let's do, uh, you know, no rules, let's do a Mark II. So they did the Mark II, extremely successful, uh, 730 horsepower, that thing flies. This is the Mark IV, 800 plus horsepower, 2,400 pounds of downs, downforce, uh, six-speed X-Track gearbox, E-clutch to get going. It's, it's a spaceship. Um, first time I drove it, I laughed the whole back straight. <laughs> you had me at Mark IV, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> no, just, it's, what have I, they done then? I mean, obviously, you go back to 66 and the original GT, and it's not far off looking like that. And then you move forward to 2003, I think it was. You know, this, is, this iteration of Fords has always had a similar look, but everything has been slightly different. What, to you, stands out that is different to this one? I think, like, compared to the old cars, it would be, it's, it's obviously uh, more modern, and uh, they've really focused on getting uh, the surface area down, so it's a very slippery car. Um, almost too slippery with the GTLM, where they got BOP'd into the ground with uh, no power, because uh, it was so efficient in a straight yeah. line. Uh, but again, uh, this has... Well, the GTLM, when it ended, at 480 horsepower, and this has 800 plus. So um, it's... But there comes a point, and, and maybe you can describe that, but once you get... I mean, I work in Trans Am, and once you get over 800 brake horsepower, you're getting to a point where the tires, the suspension, and the wheel... I mean, you know, there's only so much you can put down to the ground before it actually becomes a handful and almost undrivable. Right. So wh where is that point? Or this obviously doesn't hit that point because it's designed so it doesn't. Yeah, do I'd that. say I'd say it's uh, a lot of our trick engineering um, between Ford and Multimatic. Uh, it's got DSSV uh, spool valve, Multimatic suspension, uh, dynamic spool valve suspension, and um, we have uh, you know carbon ceramic brakes and uh, like the downforce alone is huge. You, you know, you're talking about a Trans Am car with 800 horsepower. This has 2400. So can you of describe a little bit more? I'm sure there's a lot of people interested in the, the suspension. You're, you're